everyone, so today's video is a Christmassy party get ready with me. Now I'm absolutely obsessed with rose gold at the moment so I decided to do a sort of rose gold, coppery, smoky eye, bright pink lips and curly hair. All of the products I used in this video are available from Feel Unique and if you're interested in recreating this look then they've put all of the products I've used together on one page so just check out the description box after this video for that and I'm going to get straight into the tutorial, here we go! So I started off by having a bath and I used L'Occitane's Ultra Rich Foaming Bath which is so lovely and moisturising. And then I washed my hair with the Kerati's Nutritive Complete Nutrition Shampoo and the Nourishing Care Conditioner. So I don't know about you but once I've washed my hair I like to dry it and then put it out of the way while I'm doing my makeup. I'm not sure if I do this in a bit of a strange order so let me know in the comments box below the way you like to get ready. Makeup first, hair first etc. So once I've combed my hair through, I use TG's Bedhead Superstar Queen for a day thickening spray which just gives your hair lots and lots of volume and I just massage this in after I've sprayed it in at the roots. And then just before I blow dry my hair, I use TG's S Factor Flat Iron Shine Spray Heat Defender. I'm actually going to be curling my hair but I really like the scent of this and it protects against the heat so I use it anyway even though I'm straightening my hair. Next I just gave my hair a good old blow dry and I used TG's Smoothing Lustrizer which just takes away any frizziness and makes it look a little bit sleeker and smoother and then I just generally put it back in a ponytail and forget about it while I do my makeup. So on to makeup. For the base I'm using Rimmel's Wake Me Up foundation in the colour Soft Beige. This is an absolutely amazing foundation. It's probably my favourite one. I love it. It's so illuminating. It makes your skin look really dewy. And I use my Real Techniques foundation brush just to buff this into my skin. Then I use Maybelline's Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. I use this under my eyes as it's a really nice highlighting concealer. But I also just used it on any blemishes as well just to doubly conceal those. Then onto bronzer I use Caudalie's Tint Divine Mineral Bronzing Powder. I love this as it's a matte bronzer, it's gorgeous. And I used my Real Techniques brush, I just contoured my face and took it up onto my temples and under my jawline. For blusher I used Benefit's Coralista which is of course a gorgeous coral shade and I just smiled to find the apples on my cheeks and then I took this up quite high because I, I generally find this makes your face look a little bit lifted and brighter. Next I curled my eyelashes with the Shiseido eyelash curlies, these are amazing. Onto eyeshadow I used the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. For my lids I chose this gorgeous colour called Chopper. I used the brush that came with the set I find them really great and I just packed this onto my eyelids and it's this gorgeous rose gold coppery colour which is amazing and I love this colour for blue eyes especially. It really makes them pop. For the crease colour and outer corner I'm using this colour called Snake Bite, it's this kind of browny gold, it's absolutely beautiful and I'm just going to blend this into my sockets and then take this up a little bit higher just to give it that real smoky look. I also went back in with the lid colour just to really make that stand out. For a highlight colour I use this colour called Booty Call and I just put it onto my brow bone and then I took it down into my tear duct just to make my eyes look a little bit more shiny and shimmery. For eyeliner I use Rimmel's Exaggerate Eyeliner, I just took this onto my upper lash line and then just did a little bit of a winged eye. And then I used a black slightly glittery L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner for my waterline. Onto mascara, I used YSL's Luxurious Mascara for a full slash effect and this stuff is absolutely amazing. I love this mascara. So I just applied a few coats of this.
And I just neatened up my brows a bit with Clinique's Instant Lift for Brows and I just used really soft strokes to create the illusion of more hairs. And finally, to complete the look, I used YSL's Rouge Voluptuous Lipstick in the colour Fuchsia Storm. I love this so much. It's the most gorgeous, vibrant colour and it's so moisturising. It's not drying at all. So on to styling my hair, I'm going to do a curly look with some of the side pieces pulled up out of my face. So I'm just going to make sure it's parted correctly, I like to have a side parting. And then I'm just going to start to section off my hair so that I can begin to curl it. Then I use the Babyliss Curling Wand Pro. I always take this behind my hair and wrap it round. I always start my curly hair in the exact same way. So you just go behind the hair, wrap it round, hold it on the heat and then catch it in your hand just until it goes a little bit cool and this will keep the curls in for so much longer. So I just continue to take different sections, curling my hair in the same way, always curling it away from the face. So as you can see, all my hair's curled now, but I don't want it to be ringlet curls and I don't want them to be too defined. So I'm just gonna start brushing my fingers through my hair. I'm not going to brush through it because I don't want to get rid of the curls but I just don't want them to be so defined. I also like to massage the roots. This might sound a bit weird but it gives your hair a lot more volume and it stays in for quite a long time as well. Then I'm just going to grab the two front side sections and secure them in place at the back of my head with about three or four bobby pins, curvy grips, whatever you want to call them. And once that's secure, you can just pull it out a little bit, play around with it to get it exactly how you want it. You can even do a little bit of backcombing just to make your hair look even more glamorous. Then I spritz some Giorgio Armani C, which smells absolutely beautiful. Put on my little black dress and I was ready to go. So this is the finished hair and makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed the video. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to find out more about any of the products I use, then check out the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye guys!